I want to show video on four facts about Finnish basic education. It's two minutes long. Four facts about Finnish basic education. In Finland, everyone has equal opportunities to grow and learn. All schools follow the same national curriculum and basic education is free for everyone. Let's take a closer look. 1. Compulsory education Everyone has the right to education, but also the obligation to complete their basic education. A child's guardians are responsible for ensuring they attend school. 2. Teachers In primary schools, the majority of subjects are taught by a dedicated class teacher. In the upper comprehensive school, subject teachers teach the specific subjects they specialize in. All teachers are highly educated professionals. There are also other education professionals working in classrooms to support students. 3. School days Students study a variety of subjects throughout the day, according to their study schedule. There are breaks or recesses between lessons. Free school meals are offered to all students during the school day. 4. Evaluation Teachers evaluate children's learning and work. They do not compare students to one another. The purpose of evaluation is to provide encouragement and support. After basic education, students apply for vocational education, upper secondary or preparatory education. All students who complete their basic education are prepared for further studies and for life after graduation. It's one of the myths that emerged in some news some years ago was that Finland had got, gotten rid of all subjects and that there were no subjects at all. And that was a misconception out of the fact that in Finland the curricula supports transversal competencies. The purpose of the curriculum was to as well to create a school culture where we support the knowledge and skills needed in life, the motivation and learning, and we have different different subjects and all kind of in communication with one another. I'm going to talk a little bit more about that. One of the important things about the uh, features of Finnish school today is as well that we focus on quality and not on quantity. First and second grade, 19 weekly school hours. So some days they might come for three hours, some other days for five hours, but it's very flexible. School generally starts at 8.30 at the earliest, even for the older grades. Well, for example, when I was a student in Mexico, sometimes we started school at 7 a.m., which for me was like the worst. <laughs> but, but that was um, a norm in Mexico. Well, in Finland, it's I added in here as well, there's importance in sleeping. We see the fact that it's important for well-being, it's important for learning. So that's why school doesn't really start that early. In third grade, there's 22 weekly hours of school. In fourth grade, 24 weekly hours. Fifth and sixth, sixth grade, 25. Seventh, eighth and ninth, 30 weekly hours. Recess is considered a learning environment as well. So there's um, about 45 minutes of recess per day. No, around one hour of recess per day. All, if you count all the breaks together and also depends on the day. But recess is an important aspect of learning because it's where students learn how to interact with one another. We often prepared uh, with my class, this picture is from my my previous class. Um, we often talked even before recess about skills for recess, skills for making friends, skills for how to, how do you ask, can I join your game? How do you approach someone you have never met and interact with them? So we see it as a space for them to as well develop as people in their in the society and to acquire their social skills and playing skills. There's not an excess of homework. And that's why also there was this myth about Finland not having homework. It's not that we don't have, it's that we make sure that it's not too much because we as well 
know that it, there's importance in them having other stuff outside of school. So many children might have their hobbies or, well, social life, being with their family. Maybe for the first, second and third grade, we gave 20 minutes of homework per day. And we asked the parents to tell us, teachers, if they realized that the children were like, that it took them a really long time and that they grew frustrated out of that. We talked with them to kind of evaluate, okay, maybe to this student we can get, give less homework or they tell us if they see that it's like too much. So there's a lot of conversation around that as well because we don't want them to spend all their evenings doing homework.